We are continuing to follow the murder and arson investigation out of Colleton County, where officials say six people were killed. One person was seriously injured during a absolutely horrible incident at a home in the Green Pond community Sunday. News 2's Kevon Dupree is in Calton County, has the latest from the family of the victims, as well as new information on the suspect. Six people were killed, and one person was left in critical condition here along Folly Creek Lane on Sunday, according to the Colleton County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office has arrested one person in connection with the murders. That person is 33-year-old Ryan Leonard Manigo. We just want him to um, look somebody in their face, look me in my face, and tell me why. Members of the Magwood family still searching for answers after they lost six family members last Sunday morning. The family is also reconciling the fact that the suspect in the investigation is a family member as well. It's rough. It's, we're, still, we're, still, we're still dealing with it. Um, we just want answers why or possess someone to do something like that for no reason. Family members say it was especially difficult facing Manigo for the first time since Sunday's incident at his bond court hearing on Monday. It wasn't pleasant to me because um, he, you know, you, you know, he, he just not going to talk to us. Um, I feel like he's a coward. He can't look nobody in the eyes right now. He's, he's feeling guilt um, for what he's done. Manigo has been charged with two counts of murder for the death of his own daughter, 11-year-old Shariah Manigo, and his sister-in-law, 50-year-old Michelle Wright, as well as the attempted murder of a 13-year-old who survived the ordeal and identified Manigo as the suspect. His bond was denied. Colleton County court records show Manigo has had several charges placed against him since 2008, but not all of those charges have been upheld. Those charges include kidnapping, criminal sexual misconduct, and an armed robbery case in 2010 where he pled guilty and served two and a half years behind bars. I spoke with the solicitor's office and they tell me no additional charges have been placed against Manigo at this time, but they say that could change as the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Colleton County, I'm Kevon Dupree, Count on Two.